episode 64 64 baby <laughs> <laughs> vague the Podashians, baby oh, it's a burp. <laughs> oh you said yeah oh, she's she a burp she's on brooklyn yeah <laughs> Episode 64. Mm -hmm. It's episode 64. It's uh, 36 episodes away from episode 100. 100. Mm. Lord. Ah, what we up? doing? What oh, we man. doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I think party in a strip club. For yeah. 100? Yeah. Oh, my God. I think that we got to do it big. What strip club? I don't know. We could figure that out. <clears throat> I don't know. We got to find a strip club that, like, no, none of us ever been to. A sub like that. A, a plan it like that. All right. Let's go there. Well, then that means I got to go somewhere far. <laughs> 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 you been to every strip club in New York City? No. Man, I love them strippers. No. How you know? Oh, yeah, we did go there. I want to say something, but yeah, we went there before. You been to Lust, right? <coughs> I've been everywhere in New York. <laughs> Lust. What's the other shit in Queens? I'm not naming any names because we ain't going to you. Right. We went to that little strip club. Which um, I'll never, ever go to again. Dream? Again. Isn't That's it what a dream? It's a dream? Oh, yeah. my, with the curtain. That you know what I thought we were? Should have been a dream. You know what I, like, I walked in Yo, and it was empty. Uh, I thought we was going to like Atlantis. Yeah, I thought it I was going to I've never been to be Atlantis. Something. Atlantis is cool. Big shit. coochie popping. It's really small. That shit was. Everybody goes. Baby coochie popping. <laughs> Nobody was even doing nothing. Atlantis is big coochie popping. No, I'm just saying. Oh. It's just a bigger. It's small. Atlantis is small. But it's bigger. Just people, a lot of people go there. Go it's there. not dirty. Right. Like, it's not messy. It's not dream. What's that small secrets? That's just tiny. Should have been a secret. I don't even know what that, that is. Was, yeah, we went there. Remember, um, Jaden was there. <clears throat> this is not a strip club. I didn't go. Hello. <laughs> That's not considered a strip club. What is that? It's a spot. That's not a it's strip just club. It's just a regular spot. Bro, a strip club is with a stage and pose. A strip club... That was, they come out with their little bags, like... And want to smoke weed with the customers. So they... They dance on the floor. <laughs> that's not... So it's basically what we did for... Yes. With the, with the poles and the, sh and the... Yeah, that's not a strip club, bro. That shit is more of a strip club <laughs> than... You know what they should do, though? Nah, they should build, club. like, little Like stages. a little stage. They really should. In the middle of the floor? In the middle, Yeah. But only one girl could go on at a time. No, two. No, two. Make it's supposed to be two. Enough. It's very, very possible. They have enough space. They just need to get with it. Yeah. I guess they could do that. They could. If they don't need a lot of space. When you put two tables together. Two That's what I think of. tables. Right? Together that wide. That's what and I think of when I, when I think of a strip club. Yeah. A stage. A stage. Like, um... Hennessy, come to, to the, the stage. stage. <laughs> Estrella, come to the stage. But they're going to come to that little platform. Come yeah, to the platform. Yeah, they could say, come what to else the they platform. Do? They don't even say nothing. They don't even got names. They're not even interesting. Dusty butt, come to the stage. Come to the stage with your dusty little bag and your <laughs> little twerk that y'all all do. Y'all don't even do no tricks. I want to see tricks. I don't like them type of strippers. Now the girl with the fire. What on tricks? Her, her, her no, 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 no. They cute. do tricks, yeah, but like them little dusty ones that walk around with their little and that's it. Bag on their the wrist. Dirty bags. They won't even let that shit go. They bro. twerking with the bag hanging right here. Listen, I go to strip clubs and the bitches leave. They they put their bags down. Yeah. Like I wish somebody would try to touch my bag. It's like they got a little beeper in their ear every time the bag moves a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck you doing in my bag? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And y'all supposed to smell good. Y'all don't even be smelling good. That's a fact. Always hit it with the not, wet wipes. Not always pink or Victoria's Secret. You don't always have to go for those sp sprays. You know what? No, no, no. I, yeah, you're right. I was talking about the outfits. I told you something. No, like, what about the smell outfits? like something. I'm just like, like, and you don't those... have to have glitter everywhere. 
I'm tired of them little fake Louis Vuitton and little Fendi print joints. What, that they, they all come out. Yeah, yes. I'm sick of them because they act like that shit is, that is really. Real. Lo- come on, that's not Louis Vuitton. It's just cute. Like stop, stop. Like let's stop that. Please. Just come out with just some pink shit or some red shit or some blue shit. Or- that's it. Why you gotta come with the little? <sighs> you act like you really in that Sound in bad. that Italian drip. Yo. Nah, cause you act like your shit really from Italy. This is a fact. Your shit from Little Italy, right off Canal. <laughs> You heard? <laughs> What's the part of Little Italy that they call it in the oh. Bronx? They're not even rap Little saying. Italy. No, what is the actual streets? 187. <laughs> 187. Yeah, yeah, Sepside. <clears throat> Chrissy. Yeah, now nah, y'all gotta stop doing that shit in strip clubs too. And do y'all hair. Lay those baby hairs down. Damn. And stop with the weave off the mannequin. No, stop putting wigs on, lace fronts. And not blending your skin in with the fucking lace. Do y'all makeup too? Like I wanna, I wanna be like, ooh, she is mad pretty. pretty. Y'all be looking sweaty. Well, and since we giving rules, work out. Like tone I think your little the, body. The, up. the workout should be the workout. Nah. They, nah. They, what they, gets me is the the belly. Because com- if I comfy. wanted to ever be a stripper, right? I would never do it now. Because I got a little belly. All right. So y'all need to like. And then the walkout. They walk. That's out why you like wearing this. a faha. They walk out with their their butt and their bellies out. <laughs> like, can you that put your disgusting. belly away? <laughs> yeah, like they walk out like like yeah, yeah, ew. Yeah. Like they don't care. Like it's. Then y'all 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 <laughs> y'all little footwear looks mad cheap. With the sh- with the tools in your. What you said uh, earlier? Uh, you didn't say dirty. You said you said something. I don't know. Grimy, dingy. Nah, she funky, said something was funny, but she didn't mean to say it. Stinky. Yo, 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 shit. say it again. But Eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they gotta stop with that shit too, cause y'all just look. Feel, and this is all from like, I seen everything I'm saying is from like a handful of ex- experiences. Like, I probably been to a strip club, no lie, probably in my whole life, no more than less than fifteen times. Really? Less than 15 times. Strip club. I'm not into that. My favorite strip club was Planet Tootsies in Miami. Planet Tootsies. I fell in love now with that you mentioned Miami, maybe a little less than 20 two times. Two strippers out there. Less than 20 times. <laughs> and one day. You what? With two strippers? I said I fell in love with two strippers out there. I was about there. to say, what? <laughs> and then with strippers, like I'm picky, so it's like, I won't spend no money if I don't see one that's like remotely a little attractive. That I was like, fuck it, like, she's all right. you the best one here. <clears throat> Other than that, they'll just be next to me. I'll just be holding my money. Yeah, and then they'll be like, after a while, bitch, don't touch me. <laughs> nah, you know what I do though? When, when I go to the strip clubs, I tuck my bread. I don't walk around with my bread. Oh, out. My, my bread is in my pocket. No, 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 no. That's like throwing. I want you to see it. I want you to see it. And I want you to know I don't and I want you look. To either pop your pussy or Cause please don't come back. <laughs> No, no, I just, I'll pull it out if it's like one day, like, I'm like, all right, how right You know right what's there. the craziest thing nowadays is the the bartenders be better than the strippers. Yeah, that's been a thing for a while now. That's, that's the saddest part. I mean, they're less accessible. I think I love that more. Though. They're more ac- accessible, what? They're less. less. No. Because you can't really touch them and shit. Yes, you can. I mean, I, I don't like touching them. I don't like touching anybody. That unless you re- you reaching right now, like niggas don't go to strip club and they're reaching over the bar trying to touch the bartenders like that. Like that's like a no. Bro, they don't. That's not. A, that's I not a thing. I go out more than both of you put together. They definitely do that. All right, but I'm not talking about you now. I'm saying now they either. definitely do that. I'm talking. What's about, a strip like, clubs? You mean, or just period? Period, and definitely strip clubs. Yo, they're at the bar. I've been going out since I was like 18 years old. I'm talking about now. I'm just talking about in in life. Okay, well, you have your opinion. I have my opinion. You got your opinion. Yeah, but you're making opinion. it seem like your opinion is the right one. It is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just talking about my experiences in strip clubs. Like, mine the too. girls behind the bars are less... Like, you can't physically touch them. Exactly. Yeah, you could, they could turn around and shake their asses or whatever. But 
you know, yeah. not most guys are gonna reach over and slap your ass. That's mad. That's like, but some niggas do because so, some that. niggas you are thirsty. Gotta be hanging over the bar. That's why niggas do, that, do like, be doing that. Because niggas are thirsty. That's why some niggas, niggas do that. Do. Like what? Hey. I know. I'm a, I'm a female and I be doing shit like that sometimes. Over hanging over the bar. Yeah. Like fiending. Yep, fiending. Fiending that's, for that's, a little slap. That's another level, like. <laughs> Especially if you want me to do it, I'm doing these bartenders. See? Fucking. <laughs> I brought them shits in from outside. A little gnat. Looks like a little moss. Yeah, but I, 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 I hope I never ever see my friends doing that type of shit. Like, Maybe we shouldn't go to a strip club. Maybe we should go bowling or something. To a bowling party. Like that shit we went to in Queens. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Would it still be? No, I don't think it would they bought, still be hot. They bought bottles. Yeah, it would be. Hell no. Uh, episode 100? No. It'll be cold. How? Oh. Episode 100 <laughs> Count it What's what 36 weeks from now It's probably gonna be like In December Fuck it Christmas bowling party <laughs> Bring me a gift What It's not your birthday If it's in December Yeah it is Motherfuckers ain't bringing gifts Look at me. Motherfuckers barely bring themselves Facts. They barely bring money <laughs> Like Niggas you invited us. I thought y'all had drinks on deck. That's crazy. <laughs> That's why you, you can't invite motherfuckers no more. You got to tell niggas, meet you there. Yeah. You yeah. can't be like, oh, we out. Because once you go in a group. Automatically, you got it. You got us? Yeah, no. Yo, I hate motherfuckers, right? Yo, how y'all feel about this, right? I think we spoke about this before. <laughs> like, if somebody comes and niggas is ordering mad shit on the bill, do you split that shit that many ways or niggas pay for what they... I don't know. It depends on what, depends what the on... occasion is. No, nah, it depends on who are. you're with, yeah. Yeah, because if I go out with my homegirls, it don't matter what each of us order. We're just going to split the bill. Split the bill. Okay. Yeah. But if you but go if, down what? If you came with her and yeah, then she yeah, came yeah. with her... If we just around a whole bunch of bitches, we don't no, know. No, y'all could... Pay for y'all own shit, and I'm gonna pay for Bro. our own shit. Like we not doing this split the bill shit. No split the bill. No. <laughs> Cause if I order chicken and you order motherfucking caviar, I'm not. I'm not eating that shit. Gee, that, we spoke 14, about that. That happened to us. That happened to us. I want a 14 ounce steak, and you yeah. get your little mac and cheese, but we splitting that bill. Yeah, no, bitch. I want shots in 1942. And I got Casamigo. You know what motherfuckers gotta start doing too, right? It's for guys and girls. Order what you would pay for with your own money. Facts. Especially if it's on somebody else's tab. Like if somebody's gonna pay the bill, don't order 1942 because a motherfucker paying the bill, bitch. Order Terramana. I, I, and insist, no, I'll take Terramana. I'll take Terramana. You sure we're gonna get Casamina? No, I'll take Terramana. Like, nah. That you, should be a rule. Y'all paying the bill. I want some 42. <laughs> Oh, fuck wait who's ordering who's ordering it like if we in a club if you ordering it for me yeah I want that I don't want no Terramano Casamigo <laughs> I want 42 niggas could give you Terramano and you won't even know the difference that's fine if you if you saying you ordering 42 then you ordering 42 and if I wind up with drinking. the Terramano we gonna drink what, what's there <laughs> <laughs> that's it yo it depends on the the, the <laughs> I don't know where we at. I don't really? know. Because I don't know. if I'm out like but like friends if we go to and a stuff club. and they ordering 42, all of them, I'm going to just yeah. order the same thing. You know how much is a shot of 1942? It's just like $55. Then I'm going to order a drink. <laughs> I'm going to order two Y'all bitches go order the shots. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yo. They did that when we, when we was working in the district. Who? The white boy. What's his name? I forgot his name. He ordered shots in 1942. No, they had the bottles. Of 1942. Yeah. Oh, all right. But I'm talking about like ordering shots. I'm not ordering no Yo, shots. Yo, 10 shots of 1942. No, they, that. They're not, they not $50. $55. Where? In any club in the city. Maybe 42 Not, no, not. Maybe $42. Not that much I don't know. District. No, I wasn't. I don't know, but 
nobody was buying that. They were getting the hundred dollar Ciroc special. No, but when you go to <laughs> when you go to the bar and the order little, a shot, the, the bottle like that, the little Ciroc? skinny bottle. <laughs> hey, yo, them shits is a hundred dollars. In the in district, the they little were? baby bottles. Yeah. Nah, yes. not not the ones Bro. that not the ones that's in the window. The forty two? No. No, Ciroc. The Ciroc. Remember the Ciroc and Henny were the only two that were uh discount before one o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, but at least and it's, we were at least it's out with these little baby bottles. I was like, this is the bottle? Are you fucking shit? At least me? the at least the Do they thir- want the glow sticks? <laughs> at least the thirty dollar bottle of Ciroc. Bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not not that little not nah, not that little baby one is like this big. Right, no maybe way. the next size. Yeah, probably like the one like this. It was still Look, embarrassing. 30, yeah, to me. yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas drink some rock still. It was on sale. <laughs> you trying to get rid of that shit's a clearance. It was the that shit's a clearance. You're trying to get rid of that. Everybody had them bottles for It was that and the little bottles of honey. Yeah, that's like the forty five dollar bottles of honey. Damn. But when he gave me the the bucket with the bottles and I was like, all them bottles fit the in one bucket. <laughs> these are the bottles. Nah. Four <laughs> bottles fitting in one bucket is Comfortably. crazy. Comfortably. With ice around it and the and the chasers and the, and the cups. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what y'all niggas is drink? So rock is crazy. I I take some rock at shots. I would never. I would drink some rock like on a summer day. Yeah, I would get like you know what I mean. Ice. Yeah, I'll get like a peach or an apple. Hell yeah. Yeah, and I would definitely drink some rock. Yeah. I wouldn't drink a lot of it because that's a headache waiting to happen. Yeah. Definitely gone. But I will sip, you know what I mean? Once I feel nice, stop. It's not like with the tequila, niggas just... No, 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 keep on going and keep on going, nah. Tequila to you, you know what I mean? Drinking and not thinking. Yeah. I wouldn't do that with no Ciroc, that's crazy. Tequila to la kill ya. (laughs) Not the drinking and not thinking. Yeah, because... Baby. (laughs) Baby. (laughs) Not that Ciroc, that's just... That's just alcohol with flavor. That's all it is, rubber alcohol with flavor. What else is a the bad? These. What else? What else is a bad drink in the club? Mm. Um, eighteen hundred tequila. Shots of eighteen hundred goes crazy. Do people really do that though? Yes. Yeah. No. Yo, I remember a long time. It might might have been like three years ago or more. I was in Isla, and some nigga thought he was lit buying. He was with some girls and his niggas buying mad shots of eighteen hundred. That's embarrassing. That's insane. And the girls were just like, yeah, another shot, another shot. Yeah, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Taking out their phone. <laughs> Boomerang, y'all. Shot to 1800, like. Yeah, they didn't get the bottle of 1800. Nah, hell no. <laughs> they was just getting shots. Them little $8 shots. Please <laughs> change your face. <laughs> Them little $8 shots. That's treacherous. I ain't doing that shit. Fuck that. That shit is just like, that's like, to me, that's like the... Georgie version of tequila. Eighteen hundred. I wouldn't do eighteen hundred shots. I wouldn't drink eighteen hundred drinks. Nothing. Eighteen hundred is not that bad though. It, but I'm not taking shots of it. No. You would drink eighteen hundred. Like, would you go to a liquor store and purchase a bottle? No, and- never. Maybe. But I used to chill with somebody, and their family used to like drink that. So if it was the only thing there, I have a. I'll drink it. Italian family they would drink Bacardi <laughs> Italians drink Bacardi yeah oh, I thought that was like Puerto Rican thing no yo Bacardi my, Bacardi for the win <laughs> yo my grandmother and them back in the day they used to have parties of the Bacardi but the plain one plain one like the big the jug with the, the hand jug. <laughs> yo and everybody I used, used to used wonder used to be on the table with all the liquor yo, not the jug with the hand yeah with the handle. That shit, remember that big That's wine big bottle, bottle y'all be having yeah, with the that, handle? I love that. One. It was like a jug of <laughs> yeah. Bacardi, Wait, straight Bacardi. Have you ever had the box wine in your crib? I drank box wine before my mom. Box wine is box wine is nasty. Box. I never tasted box wine, but Nana always had a box wine, and I will always be like, "Damn, how is that wine in the box?" <laughs> That's like water in a box. There. <laughs> That's disgusting. First of all. Because it's in a bag in the box. Oh, yes, in a bag. Yes. But it's good in the bag. I'm not drinking box wine. No. I think you better I dr- fool me and put I, it in a bottle. I think I do. Right. <laughs> I think I drank that with my... I did drink that with my mom. I'm not going to lie. I drank Mm-mm. it with my mom. I'm going to buy it and give it to her. <laughs> she'll, she'll drink any wine. 
<laughs> and she's a wino. Nah, I'm just playing, mom. I was just joking. Um, what's another bad drink in a club? I don't know. <clears throat> Hmm. A Long Island iced tea is a bad What's that drink, shit? I but like, I would do it. I love Long Island I would iced do teas. It. Yo, my brother, he is a Long Island iced tea fiend. That's a nigga on a budget. That nigga would get lit off a of Long Island iced teas. I can't. I don't even think you could go in a club now. And you can you order that in a club? Yeah, you can. But oh. they they might not know how to make it. Cause bitch, it's, put, it's, bitch, put everything put in everything that shit. Put everything in it. Put everything. an umbrella while you at it. Put everything in that shit. Not an umbrella. Make sure it looks like dirty water. I remember back in the day in Sin City, I had two um, apple Long Island iced teas. I threw up on a stripper. I have a story about... That's when the fake asses first came out. This was uh, years apple, ago. Apple drink. You remember my apple drink yeah. experience? I threw up right on that stripper. Like, I knew I was going to throw up. I was, so you just looked at her and was like... She was, like, giving me a lap dance. I kept bouncing. Them. She was heavy, heavy, and I just felt it on coming her up. Back? You threw up on her back? Mm-hmm. Ew, that dripped on her crack. She The way she hopped up, and then when she hopped up, I threw up more on the floor. Oh, she was sick of you. I remember I was wearing a white hoodie. Ew. I thought I was so fly. Ew, and that shit was brown on you. <laughs> Yo, it was like, you know, it was little dots because I threw up on her. And then when she got up, I threw up in front of me. Shit was disgusting. so disgusting, cringy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I know she was pissed. I don't even remember that night after that. Like, niggas dragged me to the car. Huh? I took my sister out. And she, like, I took her home. I drove home and everything. The next day. Off Long Island's? No, or for oh. apple martinis. Oh, martinis. Apple martinis. Bro, I think we had six each. We was, I knew she was done. Done. She didn't finish her last one. <laughs> drove her home. Drove myself to my mom's house. Laid on, slept on the sofa. When I got up, I was like, I'm going to take a shower. I walked. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the, I made it to the next room. Wow, the room was like, right. <laughs> it was like steps. maybe two steps. <laughs> I'm thinking you fucking had a walk. Blech. The whole house smelled like apple. Ew. <laughs> she was like, ew, you were drinking apples? Ew. <laughs> and it was like greenish. Yeah, it was bad. Nana yeah. was pissed. I only Nana, drank Nana two of those. Sore, but I felt great after. I threw up. Oh, of course, after you throw up. I was like, what are we doing now? Another shot? <laughs> oh, nah, you wild. See, oh, she always got an OD and overdo it. Tried it. Nah. It was fun days. Long Island iced teas when you on a budget. When you on a budget and then you ain't chipping for the bottles with niggas and you popped. I don't think nobody orders Long Island iced teas, bro. Nobody orders those. If I've you never go, heard I'm gonna order. go to the bar and be like, "Can I have a Long Island iced tea?" They're gonna look at me like, "What? You wanna? You know where you're at? You want a Long Island what? <laughs> Do we make that? You want a honey? <laughs> honey and coke? Not in a club, but maybe like a bar, like." Anywhere, I'm just gonna see if they make it. Yo, <laughs> they make it. <coughs> She's not contagious anymore. I promise. <laughs> no, I'm good now, but she infecting the mic. Pause. <laughs> oh well, it's my mic. <laughs> <coughs> Don't infect yours. <laughs> that was a good one. Yo, fucking um. We got to go to a club and we got to order. Shit that we don't think that they know how to make. Um, What's what's the drink you think these dummies don't know how to make? A sex on a beach. Order a sex. Be like, I want a sex on the beach. And I'll be like, I'll take a Long Island iced tea. And, let's just... and you're going to ask for a screwdriver. <laughs> now I'm going to be tired if that bitch says, coming right up and make shit. And makes all these drinks. And yeah, now I got to drink that. Like, it was a joke. It was a joke. I don't want none of these. <laughs> Walk away. Nah, you got to do it. I got to drink it? Yeah, I'll give it to somebody. Give it away. All right. If I order a Long Island iced tea, I'm drinking that shit, and that's my drink for the night. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not drinking a fucking... You drank a Long Island iced tea before? Yeah. How that shit made you feel? Fine. How many you drank? Probably like one. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say one or two. I don't really like them. They get too sweet after a while. I don't like sweet drinks. And the ones Except a margarita. The ones in Sin City, they have big cups Margaritas in Sin City. Margaritas aren't really sweet, though. I like them salty. Yeah. 
like the salt got a fall in my cup inside the cup sin city used to have the big cups they didn't have them little them little fat cups how they got now no, with the, the ice. tall ones they had the tall shits like those oh are the cups God. that they're supposed to give them to you and the long island ice yeah, yeah the tall there's ones. certain cups that you have to make the drinks yeah in. You know oh. what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do that. We're gonna order the drinks and make sure that they give it to us in the right you mean, cup. Like this is not the right cup. If it's not I'm in not the right cup, I'm gonna be like, "This is the wrong cup. Take it back, please." Oh shit! You want to troll a motherfucker? Yeah. I'm and, with and that. then I'm gonna show a picture. I'm gonna be like, "This is how it's supposed to look in this kind of cup." I want an apple, um, Long Island iced tea now. You know now they sell those shits <laughs> in stores. They on the counter, like the little the mini, pouches? the mini, nah, the mini Long Island iced tea, like the no. they bigger than the nips. They're like maybe eight ounces. Yeah, they got them shits in stores. Now nah, I've seen them shits on Nassau. Really? And on Norman. That's it's yesterday it's and today. In Brooklyn, that's why. I'm they got dead. Them shits it's right. in Brooklyn. <laughs> they got them shits right on the shit. Like, I, a, I was like, go. the fuck are they? They probably don't, don't taste like a real long island. Nah, Definitely not. That's the shit that they make in the machine. Yeah, that's that's some. Um, they, they put every exact percentage of. Yeah, no. Probably got 5% alcohol. That shit'll make you sick. Nah, Maybe that. the runs or something. <laughs> okay, I got some questions. Like, <sighs> This is weird and crazy. Like, If you had the chance to explore either the ocean or space, which one would you do? Space. Space. I'm not dealing with the ocean. Did you see what they just pulled out the ocean? I don't do water. A giant freaking... It wasn't a squid. What is a different thing of a squid? Octopus? No. A A squid? squid. No. AJ corrected me. He was like, this is a... I was like, damn, okay. I don't know. It was huge. I don't think there's anything bigger than a giant squid. All right. Well, that alone... sperm whale. No. just, Just something with... All those legs I'm are not. Up. Yeah. What's bigger than a giant squid? Yeah. You it's know. in it's in the octopus family. Yo, a, squ- a giant squid will c- cover this whole apartment. It was in. It was this. It was bigger than this. No, the whole apartment. A giant squid. Yeah, no, I was. I like was if it like, opened his arms. Goes, this is why I don't want to go far in the ocean. I was like. What? I don't even want to go to the beach anymore. Nah, I'm not with that. I'm not with that. You were talking about she was swimming with all her equipment on and in yeah, the beach. Nah, yeah, earplugs. <laughs> so y'all rather do space than the ocean? Absolutely. Yeah, because in space, you'll just automatically die. Die. Yeah. In the ocean. I'm getting eaten. <laughs> no, you did going. In the water. <laughs> just sw- imagine falling off a cruise ship. No. Mm-mm. If you fell off a cruise ship. I'll die. Immediately. I'll just, uh, you catch a heart attack. Yeah, I'll die. <laughs> what is it? What did it start with? I don't know. I think I'll try to break my own neck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is it a kraken? To... Oh, let me see. Kraken? That's what it says. That's bigger than a giant squid. I think it was something like that. But he showed me a picture of it. <coughs> what did was, they pull out the ocean? I was scared. <coughs> yeah. Next question. He said he'll break his neck. He'll break his own neck. How do you break your own neck? I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know. If you can master any language, what language will it be? Vietnamese. Who the fuck you gonna talk to? I'm, I'll say Spanish. I wanna talk Spanish. I wanna speak Spanish. <laughs> the fuck? I'm fucking Spanish. I don't know Spanish. I would wanna master. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Arabic. Why is it Vietnamese? Because I'm around a lot of... Or French. French is a good one. Uh, what What do people... French? How does that... Oh, oh they, they do have a, a weird... Oh, they do have, they do have a... Uh, you know what I mean? That was bad. No, nah, you're horrible. <laughs> Don't mind her. Oh, Sorry. Like, what is your most right embarrassing dating experience Mm. what that could mean anything yeah like be specific all right what's the most embarrassing shit you did or happened to you well that you did on a date 
on a date? Or ex- experience that happened on a date. What's the most embarrassing thing? Like, maybe you lost your shoe. Maybe. How did I lose my shoe on a date? I don't know. That, that That's what we're trying to get to. <laughs> that's the part we're trying to get to. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like this is like really embarrassing, but I was embarrassed. I got like really drunk and I ate like seafood. And then, like, right after I threw up. Threw up and it was so I, like, walked away, like, by myself. And, and like, it was tried to hide, throw, throw up. up. I did that But before. when you came back, and they no, were like... they came to me, like... You okay? Stay yeah. over here. <laughs> they came to me. I was like, not nah, chill, chill, chill. And then, like, the like later that, that night, they was like, nah, you should smell, like, mass sea. sea. <laughs> mad salt but, water. But, like, joking about it. I'm like, damn, that's why I didn't want to fucking throw up next to you. You done? Huh? You done? What? You need me to pick it up? I was itchy. <laughs> so you threw up and then just continued the night? Yeah, because we wasn't in... We wasn't over here. Yeah, you wasn't in New York. Yeah. Oh, okay. How mm, about you? I don't really know. <laughs> I couldn't really think about an embarrassing... Hmm... It could be something that was embarrassing to you. Well, nah, I, did some, I did some wild shit, but I took a shit and used my sock. There was no fucking tissue. Like, I was trying to take a fast shit. Really? Like, a fast shit. Like, you know, like, I had, like and I was, was sick. there was no tissue? When there was no, I was already sick. So you were sockless and one fucking One foot, sneaker. put my sneaker right back on <laughs> and went and chilled the rest of the night with one sock. Ew. Like, <laughs> That's nasty. I was like, oh my god, if my jeans like lift up a cent or I'm done. Yo, I had I would have to... went to the nearest store and bought myself a new pair of socks. I was chilling. I was He says soggy foot and all. Fuck it. Sweaty foot, foot and sneaker sliding on the foot and all that. Because you know, I had on Tim's too. Ew. I remember I had on oh Tim's. My god. I remember that shit. And Tim's is awkward with no socks. Yeah. You see me with Tim's with no socks? Tim's are not yeah. supposed to be worn with no socks. <laughs> I had on Tim's with no socks. Like, that shit was. I, don't know. I haven't been on many, like, I mean, I've been on many dates, but. I threw up on a date. Yeah, that's probably my on only. I'm, I don't feel like I'm really embarrassing. Or, like,. I, I don't embarrass very easily. Neither. So I didn't care. Even, even if I was to like fart or something, I, was just, I wouldn't be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would be embarrassed. But I wasn't. I was more embarrassed that we just ate seafood. Not my breast thing. <laughs> Smell like vomit <laughs> and seafood. No. That's crazy. That was funny. Um, yeah, right? <laughs> Let me see. Do, 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 do. Feels a little weak. What life event has shaped you the most? That was her. deep. Yeah. You said having, that was deep? Having her. Mm. At 17. She was the cause of my grow up fast and Hurry up. That's it. Yeah. Let's go, mom. But I was I was still able to like live I don't know, like, I still was able to have fun with my friends being a kid, but I no, knew you I thought had you was being a kid. Yeah, you was not being no kid in your head. You thought you was being a kid, but you was probably looking at your friends like, bitch, I'm a mom. Y'all bitch, motherfuckers will go back to your mom and all that. You don't got a fucking kid at home. You don't got to change pampers. So everybody you really, Everybody you really doing... wanted to, like, come to my house and <coughs> see how momhood was. And I used to be like, no, you're not invited. Yeah, yeah, like that shit. That's why I said you, like, you thought you was doing seventeen year old shit. Your friends was doing seventeen year old shit, and then they were having snowball fights, and I was like, "Act! What the fuck is this? What are we doing? I don't want to get in the face with a snowball." (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm going home. (laughs) Fucking daughter. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. So that shit just thanks. (laughs) <laughs> How about you? 
You go first. <laughs> no, I ask the questions. I go last. No, I go first. <laughs> what life changing experience? Um, I want to pick the same one as you. But that did that did that shit did kind of shape me. Like when I when I had Jaden. I did have to stop doing everything. I had to stop rapping. I, stopped, I had to go get a job. I was working in fucking Kmart. And I, I couldn't just sleep all day. I couldn't hustle. I couldn't do nothing. I'm like, nah, I got to get a job. Because I don't want to take a chance hustling and not get locked up. So I had to get a job. And that shit was like... It was like, go to school and go home. That shit shaped me to fuck up real fast. Go get a job. <laughs> shit sucked. It was fun, though. How about you? I guess I could say, only say this this because ain't really much. I could say like my dad, not him physically being in my life since I was ten. Yeah. It changed your appearance, or yeah, like, like a lot of things, like like going to school and you know like kids talking about their dad or like you know like Father's Day because we were close and like only having you. Living in Anna's house, like you know, at a point we didn't have nothing, mm-hmm. and then yeah, so I remember all of that. Yeah. That shit is life changing though. Yeah, like, yeah. Like damn, that was I went in the deep. I went in the deep pocket. Pause. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> that was good. Aww. What y'all think happens? Like, how after- you feel now about that fuck face? <laughs> <coughs> the same. It's no, it's nothing different, and it's it's worse actually now because he's actually here, and not here, and not here. <laughs> what was your question? <laughs> um, oh, it wasn't. It was just a thought that I thought like, what do you think happens to us after we die? Like, we just it's die. like so many things, right? Like you could think of like we get. Do we? I always thought that we like we come back in, as as an else. animal or something. As an animal. Yeah, like a bird or not another person. I don't. It's a so. possibility. I don't think so. But how can you come back as another person? That's what I'm saying. Like, like things like that. They don't really have like personalities. You can't really say. I just thought of another one. It's crazy, right? What if you, if you think that you could come back as something? What would you come back as? A lion. Why? Because you're a fucking Leo. Yeah, that was like no. so. Like, was lions? That? I want to be a bird. No. Why? <laughs> Why? Because I want to fly. What kind of bird? A flying bird. They, well, I'm they all say, do not no, fly. No, that's why I didn't say that. Um, what kind of bird? You want to be a hawk, an eagle, a pigeon, a parrot, a fucking? No, I want to be a parrot. A parrot? No, you'll be in a fucking cage. <laughs> Parrots go in cages. You want to be a fuck? Nah, I don't know what kind of bird, but I know I would want to be a bird. I don't know what I would be free. I want to be a lion. Like, I could be by myself with my own pack. And, you know, I could just be unbothered. Lions are unbothered. Like, when they go on all these safaris and all that, and you see the lion, those niggas is just laying there. You don't know what they're going through in their lives. They make them look pretty, but in real life, they're fucking dirty. Duh. They're filthy, like. <laughs> but like in movies and all that, yeah, no. they look all clean with their clean manes and everything. And they shine and shit. No, yeah, they but when you see those they niggas in the safari, I got mad shit. fucking dry skin on them. on them. Motherfuckers got mad. What's that shit called? I'm um, trying to look eczema. Look it up. Niggas eczema. got mad eczema. <laughs> mad dry and shit. Yeah. Mad bugs flying out their coats when they shake. You think there was a there was a future before? There was a past before. A future. What do you mean? Not our future. Meaning like futuristic shit came, a media came, boom, hit the earth, started everything no. all over. No. You don't think so? I don't think so. And then man had to relearn how to yeah, build. I don't st- think so. You don't think so? No. Okay. Just like I feel like a man never landed on the moon and put a flag there and took fucking pictures. Like, no, that's different. Yeah, that's dumb. D- so you think that th- a man thinking, never landed on oh, the moon so, with a fucking pole and so mm, your que- to your funny. question no. I just looked something up right and it says there like something happens different in every religion like they believe something happens 
and every different every religion mm-hmm. after you die so it says like like buddhism after death you don't go to some you don't go to some other world but you stay in the same one in this one when your body dies you are reborn in a different one like you said mm-hmm. secondly there's no self or soul and there's no you if there's no soul or self what is there to be reborn it says your sense that you are the same person throughout your life is an illusion everything is always changing nothing is permanent so when you die not you but the energies that shape you take on a new form so it says the the next life is connected to your previous one through something called karma this is the idea that an action in a previous life has a reaction in the next did you do something horrible in a previous life? You might be re- reborn as a cockroach. That's why I say the sorry to everybody go. I ever heard. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's crazy, right? It's freaky. A cockroach? Those are the longest Christianity living beings says, in the world. Christians hope that God will give them a new and internal life after death. They also believe that at some point their lives will be judged by God. Mm-hmm. Those who have put their faith in Jesus will go to heaven and those who have rejected him will go to hell. Hell is often depicted as a place full of pain and suffering, but it shouldn't be taken too literally. Suffering means that anxi- the anxiety we feel when we are doomed to an internal life without God, the creator of life and all that is good, by our side in the same way. Heaven is not a place high up in the sky. It is where we are reunited with God, the source, the source of our life. <coughs> That's mad interesting. Um, Islam. Islam. It says, like Christians, Muslims think that we have a soul that survives the death of our body. And the idea that there will be a day when God God judges, judges. humanity is one of the six core beliefs in Islam. On this day, everyone will either be sent to paradise or hell. The faithful go to paradise, which is depicted as a garden with seven layers of heaven. The top one is the Garden of Eden and home to Adam and Eve. In the lower ones, your neighbors will be people like Jesus and Abraham, who also have seven layers, each will with a different punishment for a different class of sinners. But this punishment isn't necessarily inter- eternal. Like in Christ- Christianity, it is possible that after serving their sentence as a sinner, they're welcomed into paradise. I heard that in the Quran. Paradise. That's my so Christianity and Islam is kind of like the same thing. No, it's not. It just said it. No, their beliefs after you die, but not like as far as beliefs. Oh no, I'm saying like the oh, 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 after life oh, oh. thing. Yeah, after life. What about um? I like the Buddhism. <laughs> yeah, right. What about That's the whole Jewish? You become. What about oh, you want to hear that one too? You don't, yeah, you I don't definitely want to hear what what the Jews believe. Judaism. It says. Um, it is not entirely clear when it comes to the question of the afterlife. There is an underworld called she- Sheol. I'm probably saying this wrong, but probably some weird probably sound and shit. Sorry, <laughs> but this is not the hell of Christians or Muslims. It is where all dead people go, whether they live the good life or not, to spend eternity as a shadow of themselves. There is no punishment or suffering here, but neither is it the home of God. The later text <coughs> of the Talmud developed the more familiar ideas of judgment. Hell and heaven, on the day of judgment, those who follow the laws of Judaism move from this world. To the world to come, this is the Garden of Eden where God's throne stands. But Jehina is home to most ordinary people. There they'll be. Here they will be either punished or cleansed depending on which scripture scholar you are for a period of 12 months at most after this period they'll be ready to join god but the truly evil again depending on which scripture scholar you ask will have this have to spend eternity or in hell or be completely destroyed so I guess if you get destroyed if you're Damn. ready like if you're, I just, I just basically did like my if, one year bid. if you're a <laughs> sinner and you're evil like and you have no life after this. It's like it's like school after death. Like <laughs> that's it. If if you <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah. Like you want to make me do that one year bit. <laughs> so then still so just erase me. That's it. And I, I don't exist anymore after Sheesh. this. Sheesh. 
sorry. That was so interesting. You have more? No. No. Yeah, I got more. Um, I think you come back after after that. But I not, like the Buddhism thing. Not as what we expect to come back as. What? But, oh, we, sorry, before, I, before you continue. We were speaking about that not so long ago. Mm-hmm. How, like, heaven is not up there. Uh, like, we don't know where heaven is. There. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. This could yeah. be heaven right here. Because I'll be on this flights could be hell. and I'll be looking out the window and I don't see heaven. All you see is a bunch of clouds. Clouds or fucking darkness. Should look like hell. Sometimes. Sometimes. It does. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? What trend y'all think is going to come out next? Trends, because you know, like trends just come like. Um. See how BBLs became a trend. Yeah. Being a rapper became a trend. Hmm. Being a fucking. Uh, what are these girls? Lashes and all this shit. All that shit became a trend. Like, what do you think will be probably the next trend? That's like making its way up right now. That's like, yo, everybody's gonna try to do that. I don't know. I just thought of like my son's generation. I don't really know. <coughs> they don't do anything that That's generation. That's what I'm saying. Like I really don't know. I Streaming like, became a trend now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like the, the trends plays, are already here. Who plays the most video like, games? What else? What else? And then like That's why I asked that. What do you think will be like a new trend? <coughs> Honestly, I think the generation after the generation that's already here is fucked. Oh shit! I don't feel like they're really like smart enough to like. After this one, I think it's done. I think it's downhill from here. I'm sorry, children. Damn, I don't know. <laughs> Motherfuckers should start buying property, investing in property, That's it. And get a farm or some shit. That's it. Milk these cows. <laughs> or, or milk the cats. Or milk the cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think like what would be a new what's a new trend coming up. See how podcasting came. Yeah. It went from radio, podcasting. Mm-hmm. What's a thing? I can't right even now? think of a thing right now. It's a trend <laughs> that could that could be the next <laughs> big thing. I don't know. We're gonna circle back to that one because Yeah, that was good. Fuck okay, it, we got. It. Yeah, I don't I don't know. That was good, I don't know. I can't really put it's my like, thoughts yeah, on me it. Because now everybody's like coming out with, with a sneaker line, clothing, like... After the pandemic, everybody <laughs> really lost their fucking mind. Literally. Everybody really, really lost their mind. Especially like, now that yeah, we like, found look, out all that shit is fake. Yeah. Coming out with like lip gloss and yeah. all this extra shit. Now it's just who's the most popular to do it. Yeah, that's it. I think that's what kind of like um, discourage discourages a lot of people into doing things. It's because they see like Kylie Jenner and they're like, oh my, I don't want to do cosmetics because I'm never going to be able to sell like Kylie. Mm. Instead of just saying, mm. fuck her, fuck I'm going to yeah, do me. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, it is discouraging. <sighs> Damn, let me see. Yeah, that is crazy. What y'all think about aliens? Oh, before y'all even go there, right? I was just about to go dive deep into before this Before you go there, right? I was at my job. I f- they had like these little statues, right? Of the... Damn. Lee, can you um look up like the different levels of aliens, like the names? I- I'm a walkie. What do they call I'm a walkies or some shit like know. that? It's some shit like that, right? So as soon as I grabbed the statue, I said... <laughs> Looked at my man Brandon. I'm like, see, these ain't humans. He was like, yeah, those are them aliens and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but he knew what I was talking about because in the hieroglyphics, you see like a hieroglyphics, they got like all the little small people and they got this fucking tall guy so tall one, uh-huh. with, the, with, the, with the big hawk head and all that. And and how do you feel you about that? What did you say? What it was? I'm a walkie or some shit like that. Anaraki or some shit like that. And they have nails like this. <laughs> Thank you. I like your nails. Thank you. Um, but what do you think about those aliens? Like, you think those were aliens and they were like wearing helmets? I don't know. Or you think those were like giant humans? 
You think they were giants? They were not giant humans. You think they were giants? (laughs) No. Like 10 foot men? No, but there is such thing as a 10 foot man. Is a 10 foot man? Yeah. How tall is Shaq? Shaq is not 10 feet. Shaq is 7 foot 3. There's a guy taller than him. Yeah, there's an African kid. He should have been a different language. Talking about the 14 year old boy? Yes. Seen him? Yes. Yeah, he's like the t- he's like the top ten and tallest. He's fucking he- huge. He's fourteen. We're talking about the same guy, right? Yes. Yeah, he's fucking one of the top he's ten tallest than, people in than the world. Shaq, and Shaq is a big nigga. He's but you, big. But you know, but Shaq being <laughs> he's seven. I'm sorry, he's seven foot two. Those guys are more average. Shaq, like Shaq, a uh, motherfucker that's eight and nine feet. They don't live that long. No, though. they don't. The, what's his name? He was a white guy too. He's taller. Oh, I don't know what the hell is his Damn, name, I don't but know. he's don't come out. he's one of the. Ta- I think he was in like, um, the National Geographic's tallest <coughs> man alive. The guy from the museum like you talking about? No, he's not in a museum. He's no. alive. He's, <coughs> I don't know if he's still alive. But I know they had in the museum back in the days. I know you went to the Maybe museum. We can find it. We, we went. From the same school, they took us on the same school trip. It was same a white guy trips. with glasses. No, this guy didn't have tall. glasses. No, he they he was in like the, I think he was in the museum of natural history. That's crazy. Right now. Tallest man alive right now is. Eight foot, two point eight inches. Eight foot two. That's crazy. Nah, the guy I'm talking about was nine feet. Then he's dead already. The nine foot guy. Because I said the tallest right now, like alive. He lives in Turkey. He's alive. Yeah. Well, how tall is he? Eight two. Let me show him. I'm trying to click on the picture, but it's not. Go to images. Shit. Because I got another one on the ass, y'all. Like, what the fuck is that? Let me see. Why is he that tall, bro? (laughs) Why is he that big? No, that's not real. No, it is real. Let me see. That he went through a... a (coughs) Uh, airport and you know the little tunnels that you walk through to get into the plane yeah he would his back was touching the top oh my god yeah he's like, from wait. he's from turkey he needs yeah. he like need his own plane or something he needs not to take planes you need his he own needs his, yeah <laughs> not public planes at least but these guys PJ. they're like all fucked up in yeah, life their like brain doesn't grow brain, normal yeah, it's crazy. their bones don't grow normal like what type of how what type of bed he sleeps in? I think he sleeps on the floor. Unless he's sleeping Ti's bed. You ever seen Ti's bed? What is it like? Ti's bed. That shit look like fucking. I seen it on the show. Like the whole family could fit in the bed. Oh, he's eight foot four inches. He's eight foot four. Yeah. Oh, he's he's got to be the tallest then. That's an average size guy. That's crazy. That's not even his <coughs> shoulder length. How tall is the average guy? 5'10. Wait. Damn. I don't want to back from. That's insane. Let me see. Damn. That's the same guy? Yeah. But you see, he has an arm brace. Yeah. Okay, he can't walk. He probably it's can't hold. He can't hold his weight. He got to. Yeah. Look, you can see him with a bunch of kids. See how he's standing? It's not. He's not. A nigga bending his knee. <laughs> <laughs> nigga chilling like, hey. That's crazy. This is how he sits in chairs. Let me see. What the <laughs> fuck? How does he even fit in that fucking chair? He has to have special shoes and all yeah. that. Yeah. Can't even buy Jordans, bro. That's a damn shame. <laughs> then he gets pussy. I wonder how big his dick is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that that's that's a, a valid question. Not for it me. It can't be an average. Imagine it's just like five inches fully loaded. <laughs> <laughs> fully loaded five inches like 
Hello. That, you know how <laughs> little. got a voice. First of all, that nigga tall ass body. You know how little that shit will look. Nah, bro, it can't be. <sighs> That's crazy. That shit, nah. Fully loaded, six inches. That gotta be the size of a little person. Imagine that. <laughs> Lee, imagine his dick is six inches, fully loaded, <laughs> at that tall height, that big height. Nah, it Dead. gotta be bigger. Nah, nah. It, it don't. gotta be, bro. But it's, it don't. It's impossible having this big body with. How is it impossible? I don't even see a crazy. print. He got no print. He got a <laughs> vagina. I think Superhead said in her book and said Shaq Shaq was falling short. That's crazy. Gotta have a girth at least. Look no. at his hand. That shit looks crazy. You don't need a dick with a finger that big. <laughs> finger, use your, use your hands. Finger that bitch. You don't need no hand. <laughs> Yo, look at this hand and look at this hand. What the fuck? That shit don't even look normal. You no, see? it isn't. That shit look like it's broken. Yo, imagine <laughs> like my that. My knee just popped. Imagine that nigga smack, getting mad at you and smacking you. <laughs> that shit is dumb annoying. Do y'all think that um, social media is fucking up people's mental health? Absolutely. Yeah. Like destroying their mental Absolutely. health. Absolutely. Do you know most females are aren't even aware of them being in competition <laughs> with each other because of social media? You see my post. I seen several posts. A video with Ish that I posted up from Joe Budden shit. He said that. He said that bitches is creating the standards with each other, not even with the niggas. I don't even think guys are are like wifing females like that at this point. That's what he says. That's what he said. He said they're not. None of them are married. All of them is going to get BBLs, taking trips, getting fucked by niggas, and they're just going about their business. We gotta do better. Later. They're not saying, "Hey, uh, people are com." They're not. Co- they're convincing themselves that they're not prostitutes. Oh, and that is exactly what they are. Yeah, I know. But they're trying to convince themselves that they're not prostitutes. Like, oh, all right. Um, he gave me five thousand as a gift because I gave him good pussy. What? He paid you to leave. <laughs> For real. That's this is insane. Dead. This so yeah, social media is fucking everybody up. Mental health. Mental health is. If they went to therapy and like sat down with a therapist and actually told them what they do, I don't really feel like sometimes therapy works for a lot of people. It does. Nah, if, I don't if, feel if, like if it does. Sink into I feel it. like a lot of a lot of people go to therapy and they still not all there. I feel like that. Like, it's like they, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know explain it. I think it's different types of, obviously, it's different types of therapy. Like, like I'm not going to go there and say I want the, my life Like, I don't want to say too much. I never, I don't know how it works. But it's like, all right, I go to therapy, so my therapist told me or Therapists don't this, tell you anything. Or, they do. They don't tell you anything. They tell you about yourself. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Okay, that's but telling you something. They're not telling you anything about the I the, my therapist <coughs> told me to do. That it, did I say that? I said my therapist told me. So they're yeah. telling me about my. I'm just it's just something to say. No, I'm no, no. Saying. I went to therapy. They do. They like basically pretty much how it works is it's like stages of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like one person could, could go to therapy because he's, he's a sex addict mm-hmm. another person okay so it's, certain, could, it's different things right different, yeah. Yeah, you have to for go different for. things that's, yeah. what, that's what we're saying but if they were to go to a therapist the therapist should honestly say what do you think that is no I'm gonna tell you the therapist they do tell you things like when you tell him, let's say you tell him oh I gotta fuck five girls in a day I have to, I have to, I have to. Now, where he'll give you advice to not do that. Like, maybe you should try this. Maybe you should slow down. Maybe watch porn twice a day and get off like that instead of having to look for five women to fuck. Or some motherfuckers got 
So what do you prostitution think that they would tell addictions and these diff- girls? These girls, you're beautiful. You don't need to. But sell- that's what they hear in the in the industry. No, meaning itself. like you don't have to give your body to somebody for them to love you. But that's what the guy that's just trying to fuck them is saying. Yeah, but listen to the professional, not the thirsty trap <laughs> nigga trying to spend the bread. But then it's still like, okay, I'm hearing the same thing from different people. From the, yeah, so what makes you any different from the one that I'm fucking and getting money from? Because you're not fucking me and giving me money? No, Ooh. he's he's telling you what you... Because if, obviously, if you're having that conversation with a therapist, that means you it's clicking that you're not you're doing something wrong. Because the conversation is not going to come up in like the therapy. To, I would like to go to therapy. Yeah, you would like it. It's, like I said, there's... there's I guess you have it. to go for certain things. Yeah. But I meant what I said, meaning like... <clears throat> I know a lot of people that have went to therapy and they're still so fucked up in so many ways and they think they're not. That's what I mean when I said that. Like, in certain things, they just think, like, like, I'm writing this because I went to therapy. No, bro, you're not writing this because you went to therapy. Like, I could be writing. I didn't go to therapy. You're right. <laughs> you're right. No, nah, absolutely. You're right. But it, people go to therapy for this and then talking about I'm writing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I mean. just don't just doesn't level up i don't know because i could like go to therapy for depression or like you know like because there's something i can't get over or like you know like something like that and then you meet that person that went to therapy and they're talking about a whole different thing like subjects like we talk about or like relationships or whatever and you think you know everything because you went to therapy no you don't know everything because you went to therapy you didn't go to therapy for that right absolutely Okay. You're not a therapist. Exactly. So I feel like people that go to therapy Yo. feel like they're therapists. Well, I never been to therapy, and I try to have a therapy session with my other mother, and she told me, <laughs> until you have a diploma in psychology, I feel like they all do that though. Don't tell me shit. She has a diploma in psychology. She's very very fucking smart. Yeah. But she made me feel but like I feel shit like a lot of people that, that are, I wasn't even trying to be a therapist. I was like chin up, chest out. Yo, Let's but a go, lot of people that are together. smart could be dumb, yo. Yeah, that's true. Dumb in and, a lot of situations, things, like you're probably yeah. dumb in like life. Or yeah, it's like that's the worst thing to be dumb. <laughs> yeah. You're dumb in life. Maybe like, not life. Like, just certain, yeah, just like stay with certain, certain situations. Certain things in life. Because there's like say you're dumb in life. Yeah, it's no. crazy. <laughs> But certain things in life, you you're not very smart, or they lack a lot of like things. Yeah, that's okay. It's like, Ari, right, I don't need this because I'm smart, or yeah. yeah, like I got this because. And that all comes with where and how you're brought up. This is true. You know what I'm saying? But mm, yes. See, look at this, right? Us, yeah, I guess. we brought up in the hood, right? So what we what we we taught like oh look at those crackers I ain't smoking crack look at those cokers I ain't doing dope I ain't sniffing coke boom now you got these rich kids in the fucking suburbs and you think their life is amazing and what do they do pop pills sniff yeah, coke yeah. they do fucking all type of K two yeah. and special K and all that type of shit so it's like it's it's how you isn't yeah I guess, yeah it's how you brought this is up very very true yeah you know what I'm saying like if you swapped them with us. Those motherfuckers would be like, oh, nah, chill. That's what a cracker look like? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nah, I ain't smoking crack. They don't know, so they're going to, the, they're going to Brad and, 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 and Jerry's party. And not Brad and, and Jerry's. Baby sniff, Bentley. <laughs> and sniffing and, and, and taking these pills and, yeah. yeah, and I'm having a great time. They fucking junkies and don't even know. Don't it. even know that they really are just like these crackheads. And right. They just live under a fucking roof. and A mansion. They yeah. just live in a mansion with their parents and go yeah. to Princeton. And they're thinking like I gotta take all these Adderalls. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So That's it's like, up. yeah, there's, there's there's levels to that shit. That's fucking sad. It's all about like how you're raised, where you're raised, and all that. The motherfuckers wish they had like the smarts that we had, the street smarts. You know what I'm saying? Like. This is true. Yeah, I get it. You could be, but when a lot of people that are street smart, <laughs> just like. 
just street smart. Well, I'm smart. I'm not talking about you, bro. <laughs> All right. If you had a time machine, would you fix your past mistakes or see the future? I mean, if I fix my past mistakes, I could change my future. Just answer the question how I asked it. I did. Please. Thank you. So you would I did. change your past? Yeah. Okay, there you go. But you just wanted this one word. That's it. Change my past. Done. You didn't want me to elaborate? No, that was a good elaboration. Go ahead. I think that's just, that's changed my past. That's the answer she so wanted. Finish. I'm done. I answered how she wanted it. <laughs> Go ahead, Mel. Um, I don't think anything in my past needs to be changed. But I don't want to, I don't want to see my future. Yeah. Because then I'll prepare for everything and I don't want to prepare for it. I want to just live through it. <laughs> Mistakes imagine imagine you be like, yeah, I want to see my future. And be like, all right, only future you got left is next week. Like, there go yeah. your future right there, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> there go your future right there, my boy. I wouldn't want to change anything in my past. I made amends with all my mistakes. Ain't about mistakes. I want, I, I want to go to the past. I want to ch- change that lottery number. No, that because was you wasn't meant to be mm, a that's millionaire. That's not a mistake. Yeah, but if I could go back in the past, no. now it's because going I could all say, over. I, could, I could say I want to go back in the past so I could tell I my could change dad, this. Don't, ha- don't take drugs that's so not you can be mistake. in my life. That no. was his choice. It was supposed to happen. That was supposed to happen because if that didn't happen, then it would change everything. Everything that, that's going on. I don't want to change nothing. I guess. How about you? Probably the same thing. You want to yeah. see a future? No. You want to go to the past? I would yeah, but I don't really make mistakes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was mad cute. You, you got mad hype at you. <laughs> because I don't. <laughs> like, I'm not dumb. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, around the floor. I love that. I love that for you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see my future, but I also don't want to change my past. I don't make mistakes. It's crazy. Everything is purposely done in life. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you said that. Wow. She said this. Hello. Because I'm, uh, I'm confident dumb? about it. I don't really don't. I don't make mistakes. Mm-hmm. I like, I'm really like aware and like self-controlled. Like with everything. Like literally everything. And if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to want to change it. Like, I'm I'm sticking to it. That's it. I said what I said, and that's it. I respect <coughs> it. Ten toes. Um, let me see. I got this a bunch of shit here. Go ahead. I just got so many. Um, Such a My trip is thunder and shit. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know where I want to go with this. Um. I'm asking for a friend episode. Let me see. <laughs> What's your greatest fear? Oh my god, that could mean so many so things many. though. Cause my greatest fear could be like dying. Yeah, my greatest yeah, yeah. fear could be like never falling in love. Oh my god, you took I'm that like, out of my. She lives in my soul, bro. She don't make mistakes. She, yeah. li- baby girl. <laughs> like, like you know, like yeah, I don't know. That there was good go. though, right? Yeah. Cause I am afraid to die, and I and I love love, so I don't know. I'm never gonna stop doing that. But hmm, what else? Yeah, the death part. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid to die. I don't know how people be like. I'm not afraid to die. No, 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 bitch. My biggest fear is losing my kids before I go. Like to have to bury one of my kids. That's one of my biggest fears. Like that right there would just take me out. I would die. And it'd be two caskets. 
No one, because I'm going in with the baby, with my my child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bunk bed caskets. That's it. Yo. That is it. That's like one of my biggest fears. They, I, there like, would be nothing else to really live for. My, my. I mean, since I can't say that, I'll say like losing you. Yeah. That'll be really like thinking about that made you want to cry. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'll do. Look in your eyes. Because, like, <laughs> I don't care how old I am. The fuck? <laughs> like, I don't care how old I am. Like, that's it. We gonna, we stuck. It's up and it's stuck. <laughs> I mean, I feel you. I don't want to lose my mom neither. Yeah, but, like, nobody has the relationship that we have. So, it's like, losing her is that it's like, losing my, a part of myself. So, obviously, nobody wants to lose their mom, but. I just feel like our relationship is so different. Yeah. So, like, it'll just be, like, really traumatizing. I gotta call my mom. Do you think your relationship with your mom is, like, how your relationship is? And it, similar. Like, on, that's what I mean. Like, it's on, similar, a, on very, that very, level. Very, very, like, very similar. I okay. tell my mom mostly everything. <coughs> but I feel like I share a bigger, like, I tell her everything. I mean, she's vice versa. she's closer to you, like. Yeah, but there's some things that I wouldn't. But I feel like tell. also because you had a, you had a you had a kid at a young age, yeah, and you had to like move on really fast yeah. with your life. So I'm obviously that hasn't happened to me yet, so I'm just like here, so, which I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm just here. Still, yeah, so. and I'm okay with it because if I want. But to when that, I have like conversations with my mom, I fill her in on all the blanks. Yeah. All the blanks. <laughs> and she doesn't judge you. No. No, she's like not judging she's you like at all. She's like pro you. You do yeah. this. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Your mom feels like a really, really good spirit. Like yeah. person, like a person that. Yo, if you was. I feel like I would her, tell her my secrets. I yeah, I think you would. You would. I, I swear to God. I yeah. feel like I would, would tell her. My I think secrets. she would be like the best therapist. <laughs> yeah. Like even if you ask her opinion, like she'll tell you, and she will not judge you. Like Ever. it could be like the most judgmental thing you would you you can, you can ever think ever of like. <laughs> you can ever think of something and judgmental she, and she won't and she'll tell you she'll flip it into like something good like to make you to think like oh word all right yeah. so that's how i should look at it imagine <laughs> i had sex with these twin sisters I had a one night stand with twin sisters. What Don't do you think? play with her because she. Oh, she gonna be like, oh, be like, oh, with the I did it with the brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a perfect thing to yeah. say. That's crazy. Twin brothers. <laughs> they they weren't, weren't twins, twins, but they was close. <laughs> oh. Shit happens, man. Yeah, she ain't. Ca- she still yeah, don't care. She'll bring that shit up to. They could today. be in the same room, and she'd be like, mm-hmm. "No, now, all right, come." Yo. Yeah, she don't. She not. She that don't judge insane. at all. And you know, like older people love to judge, but she's not like that. Like at all. You know what she'll tell you? I'm not judging nobody. I'm just having a conversation about it. Oh, that's the way. That's the that's the scapegoat. That's the that's scapegoat. The, that's the motherfucker. The, the safe word. <laughs> yep. Or she's talking about somebody. I'm not talking, I'm not about, talking them. about them. We're just having a conversation. <laughs> It's it's amongst us. Yeah. Yo. If it was a group of us, then we're talking about them. Oh, but if it's just it's us just two, us, it's then it's not. It's a conversation. I never looked at shit like you that. You see, you see, non-judgmental. Yeah. That's how she always brings a negative into a positive space. Let me see. <coughs> I'm trying to think of the most controversial shit I could think of that could make somebody judge me. Hello. You don't even have to think far. Right. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> That's not controversial, though. Like. What? That's not. Yes, it is. It could be controversial on so many levels. Nah, they, they be, that shit is, like, light compared to shit that happens in real life. This is real like life. what? I mean, Yeah, like, that was what? What, what are we in a fairy tale? No, meaning like <laughs> no, like next level shit, like true sisters. Like I had a baby with one, but I'm still in love with the other one. Type shit. I had babies with both of them at the same both time. Them. They both pregnant. <laughs> they fuck it. They have. They gonna have sister cousins. That's crazy. <laughs> so, 
What do they call each other? They have to be sisters. They can't be cousins. They're sisters. They're, that's they're insane. the dad. Like, I don't know. You can't be like, that's my sister, but that's my cousin. But that's like a girl having sex with two guys and getting pregnant with twins. You know that the sex oh, yeah. splits. Yeah, and that's it could a possibility. Be your baby and the other nigga baby. Damn. That's like and a girl they're, getting pregnant twice. They're twins. That's tragic. That's tragic. Thanks to Mari, me knowing this. <laughs> what do you think something could happen? Like two niggas could nut in a bitch, right? She could have one baby, and the baby has both their DNA. No. No. Somebody's sperm gotta swim faster. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. No. No imagination. I don't think yeah. Imagine they sperms get stuck together and have one baby. Sperm. And they gonna have two heads. <laughs> no, I don't think that. Okay, it can be Siamese. Imagine that. A black one and a white one. Nah. And they Never thought the, about and that. The, huh? And the. And they look like the opposite. They just one have black different, and one white. Yeah, but then the daddy of the black one is actually the white guy's white guy? child. What, is, what, what, what movie was that? Fucking, um, I don't know. The Jim Carrey movie. They had the black kids or the black... Lie, lie? Was it lie, lie? No, it wasn't lie, no, lie. It was It was... Truman Show? No. Jim he was a cop. Jim Carrey? No, shut up. It was a Jim Carrey movie. Yes, it was a Jim Carrey movie, but he was a cop. It was... Damn, why I can't think of it? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 when you went like this, that shit flew to me. It's not my fault. Yes, it is, because it was probably on you. I hit here. <laughs> Don't hit. <laughs> what is the name of that movie? He had the three black kids, right? Yeah, and he, he fucking had a... Me, myself, and Irene. Me, myself, and Irene. Come on. Give me a second. He didn't have black kids. Yes, he did. The fat boys. Oh, yeah. Don't play with me and Jim, bro. They did. He did. <laughs> Not the fat boys. If you can erase just one mistake in the past. Not saying, you know, you said you don't regret anything, whatever, whatever. If there's one thing you can erase, what would it be? The scuff that was on my white ups. I don't make mistakes, <laughs> y'all. I said that. What? Uh-huh. I don't make mistakes. You don't make mistakes? <laughs> hmm. Nah. I'll think really hard. Hold on. Gotta give me a second. Damn, that's hard. Just one mistake you can erase. Go, because I know you got one. No, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm trying to think. You don't I, got I, one? I had a bunch. I don't know which one oh I want to erase. He said I got a bunch. I don't know which one I want to erase. Yo. Um, Bless you. Thank you. Whew. I don't know which one I want to erase. I got a bunch of them. Just pick one. Just erase all of them. <laughs> just match them up into one. Damn, it just... And just make it a off. big one. Um... Damn, what would be one thing that I could erase? You definitely have one. Please. Tapping into my third eye. Yo, when I used to play for St. Stan's, right? Are you sucking your teeth? You know the story? No, I got it. <laughs> it just sounded like some fake shit. But God. No, 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 no. Um, it was like one game. I think it was the playoff game. Basketball? And, yeah. And we was down by like two points. I used points. to go to those games. Huh? I used to go to those games. St. Stan's? Mm-hmm. I used to play for their team. And I used to play for their traveling team, too. Um, They had faked the letter, like if I went to the school, and I used to leave 126 to go to the games. Wow. Yeah. Because I used to play for the school Look, you team, you did it, too. too, and that shit popped right out. Um, oh, yeah, there was this kid under the... You know, you remember Miss Lesnick? Yes. Her son, Michael, was on my team. And he was under the rim, and we was about to win the game. It was one of our games, and I took the shot and missed. And he was open by him, so I had two niggas on me. I still took the shot. Wow. That's a mistake that you would change? Yeah. Are you, you serious? You would have passed the ball? I would have passed the ball. You would have passed the ball. Out of all mistakes that you probably had in your brain, that's the one you picked? <laughs> that was the childhood one that he would have Nah, that's, what, that's crazy. Well, you want to pick my mistake? Nah, that was, like, so dumb to me, but okay. <laughs> Let me think. Yo, like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. 
That was Sorry. my mistake that I would change. I don't think nothing else was that deep. You think that was deep? That was that. That was very that life changing for me. All the mistakes that you probably made in your life. That was life changing to me. That was at one your of, age. I, I made so many. Oh, you hit it. I at made your so, age. I made so many, and, and that's that the was one, the one I wanted to as change. As a kid, you're a kid. All right, and it was a How mistake. How about an adult mistake? That's another conversation. Oh. I thought another, she was swinging on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's another conversation. Damn, Sway. I don't even know what I would change. <laughs> that was one of my mistakes, and I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe if I go through my history. That was like a really, like, lame shallow. Change, that was really shallow. Change. Huh? That was, like, shallow. It was really, like, like surface-level mistake. I mean, it didn't, the question was, like, it has to be a deep mistake. It has to be a relationship mistake. It has to be this. It could have just said No, a but mistake. a childhood mistake, you're a child. But it's, Children don't a make mistakes. There a lot of things that I did as a kid. No, I was in the seventh grade. Bro. I don't even want to. Go ahead. Can you? The come only up with a good one that I would and, and I not be a child of, mistake. No, no, no. But why you? It would be my you? child that did the mistake by cursing the teacher out. <laughs> you see, y'all mistakes is mad crazy. I don't have a mistake. You have mistakes, bro. She want to name a your mistakes. Mistake? She want to name your mistakes for you. Yeah, like. Nah. Tell me one of my mistakes that I when should this be wanting to out, change. <laughs> please. Whoever got a mistake, that's an actual mistake that they want. Please, please, please comment. You don't have any. The only all right. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop playing games. Yeah, I feel like there's a game we playing. That (laughs) (laughs) there's a game. Ever telling someone that I love, like I not no, telling someone that I didn't love, I love you, and then having them fall in love with me for then me to break their heart. That was a good mistake. Yeah, that's that why, was the one you wanted her to pick? That's why I apologize. Nah, I didn't even know that she was going to yeah. say that, but that was really good. I that was apologize. De- see, that was I, made, I made phone call. like She I'm, went like this. <laughs> you was just like floating. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even even to this day, like people that fell in <coughs> love with me or in lust with me, I apologize. That was a mistake that I did. I only say because y'all are older, right? Wait, so you're making a public apology right yes, now? Yes, I'm making a public apology. To anybody, past, to present. Anybody that I ever, 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 ever did me. any. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm I'm wholeheartedly sorry. I'm going to make think. a separate clip for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Nah, because, yo, people really, really be catching feelings. And, like, sometimes it it's like... I could reciprocate that energy, but it just doesn't get that deep. Gets shallow. And then I kind of want to. So you're really, you're really apologizing, kind of for like, and your mistake is like leading someone on. Yeah. Yeah, that's but a listen, big one. When it comes to leading someone on, it is not just one person. It's both. So like, yeah, but I'm doing the leading because what it's, do you mean more, it's, both? it's more like how I don't know how you, how am I know you're leading me on until yeah. you make that decision to stop doing to stop it. Stop doing it. Yeah, but there's always signs there. You can't tell when a, if a nigga's leading you on. Some people are fucking no. psycho and they know exactly what they're doing. No. You got to see the signs and know. Like my can, last situation ship, no. Now with my eyes wide open, I can honestly say I need. He now. led you on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know when that when, had, that, had when to that, be. that that rope is getting thinner and thinner and thinner, and the other person feels like I'm moving too <coughs> far. Let me call. Let me text. Let me just show that I'm still here to reel you. That's back a sign in. right there. But now I know that. Now I know that. Okay, and some I'm, people don't I realize what they're doing yeah, until it's too late. I yeah. could have told you that if you that told me. Look, him knowing everything because he wants a therapy. This ain't got nothing. This ain't got nothing to do with therapy. Yo, like no. Just you saying know, everybody that out loud made me so hot. <laughs> nah. If you would have said, "Yo," but I'm you know dealing what it with is? this guy, you know bro, what it is, this is situation, situation. That... I would have said, "Oh, that's this and that and that." 
You know what I'm saying? Was, I don't even know what it was. Maybe it was just me looking for what I give. Like I, okay. I give endless love, not realizing that that people are your, actually <clears throat> falling in love. Your your thing with that situation, just because I know you so well. Hello. You like to see the good in people before even trying to see the and bad. Goes a therapist and never went For to therapy. Real. It's, it's not being a therapist. It's me actually. You, when you when you know someone, you know how they move. You know everything. You always try to see the good in people, even when they show you bad things. Mm. And I get that from you too. How? Uh, you say it's only me and her. You don't never include yourself. What? When you say, "Oh, you only see the good in people." Oh, I said I always say that about yeah. myself. I never heard that. Well, the first. I'm saying it now. Okay. You know why? Because I wait and wait and wait until somebody shows me how evil they can be. And I don't want to be seen as an evil person because I'm not. I'm very genuine. It's like you gotta love. go through the motions before yeah. like anything. I'm very like, very you genuine. Like, yeah. And like I said, I apologize to anybody that I kind of led on and broke your heart. Wasn't Bro, your heart is crazy. It wasn't intentional. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm gonna speak for myself. If a woman is leading me on, you can see the you know the kinks in the armor. Like you can see, like. <laughs> but what if she? Not really. What if you guys are not like dating? Y'all just date. Like y'all not in a relationship. Y'all just. Just be smashing. Just chilling, not even smashing. Nah, see, then that's that's the problem. Like, how far is it I going? Mean, and a, I ain't smashing. A lot like, of females nah. don't wanna. But what if? That, what do you mean? <laughs> a what? lot of females, most I can't even say most or a lot of me. <laughs> All right. I could go on dates and not fuck you. No, but like I could go on several dates so, and only no, kiss no. you. What I'm saying, I, no, I no. What I'm saying is not dates, but like. If you're like leading someone on, but like you, a you can't just you can't just yeah you can't just lead someone on by just going on dates. That that that's that cannot lead a nigga on like <laughs> just, with just going on dates. No, I would not be led on by that. I'll be like, all right, this is a fun time. We're going on another date. I know I'm not getting no pussy. She's gonna go <laughs> home after the date, and I'm gonna go home after the date. How the fuck I got led on? Yeah, but what if you got chilling in the house and like what? And I ain't smashing there neither. <laughs> then I know. All right, I'm going to go on this day. I'm going to chill in the house. Not smash. Go about my business. Like. Yeah, I don't know. know. All right. Whatever. I apologize for my shit. No, nah, no. Nah, but I would see <laughs> I would see kinks in the armor right there. That's like with a nigga. With a nigga, let's say you like a dude. And he only takes you out on dates. And that's it. Like, he's not trying to take you to a telly. Not trying to take nothing. After a while, aren't you going to be like. The fuck are we doing? Going on dates with friends that's at this what happened, point. Though. There was definitely sex involved. Oh yeah. So yeah, that can lead somebody on. Both ways. Yeah, but, but not if they're not saying they felt let on. Obviously, they didn't feel let on. The other person is saying they felt let on. Then yeah. when somebody says that it means to lead you on, clearly they don't feel the same. They were doing it because for their own selfish their reasons. Their own selfish reasons, right. I didn't know and I it, was leading you on. And but I'm telling you, that's what you did. It's more like we already knew what we was doing when we got into this. Or when we started doing what we were doing. It becomes convenient. <clears throat> and then, of course, but one person is going to catch more, catch feel. more feelings exactly. than the other one. Yeah. Absolutely. Just like yeah. somebody could love somebody more than the other. Mm -hmm. It's always something more Mm -hmm. But that's something. a scientific fact that in a relationship, one person loves the other more than... I don't know. I feel like you can't have somebody that loves you the same. No. I feel like that. Yeah, me too. One is always going to love more than the other. It could be the guy. Your woman could love you to death, but this nigga loves you to the fucking moon. Nah. Into the next lifetime. Think, Not even to death, to the be, next I lifetime. I think it could be I think it could be the same. I, I've been thinking about that too lately. Like, yeah. I know I can love way more, but I know... Somebody could love the same. There has to be. Like, that's, that's... It has to be. It has to be a thing. Who you think loves more, Jay-Z or Beyonce? Beyonce. You think she loves Jay-Z more than he loves her? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they love each other equally. Who would know they're celebrities? We don't know them. Yeah. Can we know. ask, like, a real question? 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't fucking know. Exactly. That's why I asked about Jay Z and Beyonce. But like, we would never know. Like, that's like a question. I would have to. That you want me to you ask you about my answer. landlord? You would have to like be around them yeah, they to have like exactly experience them to know with each other. Not on social media. Not in paparazzi films no. or movies because that's all a facade. Just like Ben and J Lo, we thought that they were they got married, bro. Yeah. We thought that that was it. You let them go, they come back. They yours to keep. No, bitch. maybe some maybe people just don't know how to love more than the other, and that's why someone always loves somebody more. Cause you know, like everybody loves different. Mm. Yeah, everybody loves different. So it's like you could feel like somebody don't love you as there's two of them in here. Yeah, and it's because of that window. Mm-hmm. Open? <coughs> no. Nah, they little. They come through they the come fucking through. thing. Or oh. come from the top and come down. Yeah. But definitely, yeah. Hmm. I'll let y'all know once I get married and shit. <laughs> fucking dead. What, you let us know after you're married? Yeah. N- why? What because do I don't want people to put a hex on my love. So, so what are you gonna if let your love is strong, that will never happen. It will never happen. Okay. So, what, what are you gonna let us know? Like, who, if you love your husband more, if he loves you more? No, because we're gonna love each other equally. equally. Yeah, that's just impossible. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not impossible. Right. Nothing is impossible. impossible. That's impossible. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. To nobody Nothing can love somebody impossible. that's exactly the same. Yes. <laughs> Look, it's a little baby morph. It's on the screen. Fuck him. Hit it. Fucking Kill that little bastard. I think we're going to be trapped in here. So y'all mean to tell me that two people can love each other exactly yes. the same? No way. I feel it. What do y'all think? That's a good topic. Yeah, what do y'all think? Please DM us. Say something because... I don't think that two people could... No, no. That's, I think that's impossible. I think you're love crazy not to think that. To love each other the same? Yes. No. How, though? Like, Do, Don't you want the way you love? You want somebody to love you the way you love? Yeah, I, if that's how they want to love me, if they no, want to no. love me it's more. Like, it's, it's, it's a, a question. question. Do I want somebody to love me the way I... Hmm. No, I want them to love me more. You're selfish. Fucking selfish. I want them to love me more than I love them, right? That's what you're asking me? Yeah, but that's selfish. Why wouldn't you want equal love? Like, I want to love you the way... How about love yourself? You you love yourself, right? Yes. How much do you love yourself? A lot. Like, the most. Nobody could love me more than I love myself. Don't you want somebody to love you like that? The way I love myself? It's equal love, bro. No, no, no nobody, nobody will never love me the way I love myself. You're crazy if you think that. No, 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 no. Yeah. I would, crazy I wouldn't want somebody to love me the way I love myself. I want somebody to love me <laughs> no. so they, when I leave the room, they, they, when, babe, where you at? <laughs> no, I you can't don't. breathe you anymore. <laughs> no, you don't. I want that type of love. No, she really does. You want some, I really, you want really, some, really You do. want somebody to miss you when, yes. you want, when, when they wake up before yes. you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I want you to lay in the bed Wait, and but it's watch for real, me. It's for real, though. Watch me breathe. It's for real, though. What? I want to open my eyes and be no. like, if, if you yeah. love me that much. No. After the second time, you're going to be like, my nigga, you're bugging. Why I woke up and you fucking staring at me like that? No. Cap. I'm not. Cap. No. That's cap. That's cap. Nah, it's not That's cap. cap. Maybe That's you know, cap. You know how, how much, no. like... I feel like people like that like how you think <laughs> people like me yes yeah. people like people you people like you <laughs> cause obviously you're not the only person that thinks like that and we're not the only people that think like this right I feel like you'll only know how mm-hmm. we're feeling until you have somebody that loves you like that and then you don't have them anymore ooh that was good you know what it gives me it gives me I don't really know if their love is this genuine but what what it appears to be I always say this. Courtney and... Travis? Travis. Yeah. Like, they're, that's the type of love that I want. You think he misses her when he wakes up before her? Yeah. Well, they spend a lot of time apart. So it's like they have to, like, miss each other. They spend a lot of time but apart even because of him. Yeah, when they're together, it's like, oh, my God, I 
Yeah, yeah, because he's not with her twenty four seven. Yeah, he's not with her anymore. So I mean, yeah, well, that's, that's different. The type of love that but I when he is with her, he's he, obsessed he, with her. Like he and don't want to keep his, with him. He don't want to keep his hands off her. I love that. Absolutely, she's probably a slutty, freaky bitch, and he's probably what does that a fucking. Mean? And he just wants to touch her and hug her and kiss her, and he mm-hmm. loves her. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, but, but she don't. She, maybe she's not a slutty freak. He doesn't. Bitch. He maybe doesn't. She just. Maybe he crazy. just loves her for who she is. Scott took about he want to dump in her all the time. What? Something there. Some magic yeah. there. Maybe she got good coochie. Exactly. <laughs> but that's not. That's not enough um, to love somebody. Yeah. That much. Well, he doesn't see her a lot, so that way. You know, I just did a all scenario. All that emotion. Like, like, yeah, that was kind of bad. It was, no, it why wasn't it bad? bad. It wasn't no, bad. it wasn't bad. You know why? That was great. I was just saying it because visually, from the outside, looking in, you said Beyonce and, and Jay-Z. Yeah, but the way he they explains don't, it, they don't just, give it good not, love. No. Like, visual love. They don't give good love. Like, they sit next to each other and they don't touch each other. That's, yeah, like, that's not you the know love why? I want. That's not people don't have a physical touch. Well, I want physical. I want all of that. But everybody's not gonna just want to touch. Well, You're not there's, listening. There's people for people. My then. next relationship. We heard this. Why are you sucking your teeth for? Because it ain't Travis barking and Courtney. Because he Can ain't I sucking her it? dick. Every we heard fucking this second he though. Gets. But I don't. I didn't. All I heard was. <laughs> but we heard this, and yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, you want to be happy for the motherfuckers you like. What like, are you all right, talking they, about? They love, I'm telling you, all right, we heard it has that. to be like that. What? Wait, was that Beyonce? Yeah. That was Beyonce. All right, but that was for a whole that little, audience. Yeah, no, that, that was little a, speech she gave. That was an audience. And these niggas speech. is doing shit for paparazzi and everything, right? <laughs> no, because they say it even off camera. Like you know them, you hear them bro, off camera. Not them two together. I'm saying like their family. They they have a fucking oh show, and it's it's recorded. Yeah, they live. look they look in the camera and everything. It's not it's not a pretend show. Mm-hmm. Okay. They argue, they fight, like fight. Okay. Why are you getting frustrated? I don't know. You can't I'm always just, be right. I'm no, just saying. No, because y'all really think reality well, TV anyway, is real. Well, anyway, that's the type of oh, love we that not, I want. Now we're not talking about reality TV. She just made a what show are observation. They on? She made an observation. What show? Are and they she not said on they're a reality just, show? They're just more physical, physical with their love. That's the kind they of love know how that to I show want. love. But but that's. No, to y'all, that's the kind of love you want, yes, so that's, that's what, what I'm you saying. like. I'd prefer a Courtney and Travis kind of love over a Beyonce and Hove type of love. So say that. I said it. All right, say that. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but say that. Don't All make right, it seem like because yeah. they do that and Jay-Z and Beyonce don't, that they love each other more. That's Maybe they do. We would never maybe know they do. if they don't. Or maybe they, do. they don't. I don't know. But they celebrities, we but, don't know. Can we talk about somebody real? Visually, can we talk about somebody real? <laughs> I don't know. You know somebody. You know somebody that loves somebody that much. That's in a relationship. Can we talk about somebody real? We are. I oh. just asked her a question. Oh. Do you know somebody like that? Um. Or a couple? I don't really be around couples much. Me either much. <laughs> These couples in this era are all fucked up. <clears throat> Agreed. I'm hmm. trying to think. Hmm. Damn, who like... That's fucked up that we cannot name no couples. <clears throat> That's fucked up. As I sit here <laughs> on I'm asking for a friend... In between <laughs> whatever the fuck. I'ma just say my next man is gonna be obsessed with me. And if he's not, he ain't for me. But you want a nigga to be obsessed with you, Mel. You said it until he's obsessed with you, then you don't want it no more. That's not true. You said it. Bro, I said it before. I don't I don't mean it now. <laughs> oh now you change you can't yeah, do that. You can't do that. I want Yes I can, nigga. It's can't. me. I could do whatever I want. I'm yeah. forty. I want love forever. No, you can't do that. You can't say that and then all of a sudden you're changing your shit. Yeah. No, before I know what I've done wrong in my past. I know from experience. The experience that I just experienced not so long ago is something that I don't ever want to experience again. 
I want to give my love to someone who is uh, responsive of that. Like, I want you to give me what I'm, what you're getting. I don't want it to be one way. I, I, yeah, like, that's, that's the type of shit that I'm on. You want a nigga to love you as much as you love him? Yeah. And or I you love want him to love you more? No, now, what I, if, just as much. What if he loves you more? It's impossible. It would, be, it would be impossible. How is that impossible? It would be impossible because I'm going to fall in love every day. I hate him. <laughs> Am I wrong? Oh my! All right, thank you. <laughs> it's a little minion out of here. So about <laughs> thank you, men. <laughs> little stiffy over there. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Next, on to the next. That was a good one. <sighs> that was a lot. Let me go back on my questions. I just fucked my head up with that. <sighs> Yo, y'all ever had a paranormal experience? No. Like? A paranormal activity experience. <laughs> I have several. Really? Yep. I don't want to talk about them. So why the fuck would like, you bring it up? Because nah, I could tell you stories right now. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Maybe a different episode. That yeah. Be oh, yo. If you could snoop through someone's private life like a celebrity, who would it be? I don't know. Hmm. Like that you be like, I just want to see how these motherfuckers live. Like how how what do they do? I think I would want to look into um, Janae. Just because I love her so that's much, a good one. and she I want to really know if she's so like spiritual and like that's a good one. Yeah. Like how does she is she like really like fancy and extra or is she just well, like a she's regular just simple, and like vibey mellow perfect. <laughs> That's a good one. How about you? I was going to say um, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Because he seems very thirsty, like, out loud. I wonder if that's just his persona, or is that really him? I met him one time, and he was just, like, he was cool. Like, like he wasn't Nick Cannon. See, that's weird. That's we was, concerning. He was in Urban Plaza. I mean, and, like, no, he was, like, not trying to act like I'm Nick Cannon. He was like kicking it with everybody. Yeah, but that's like, concerning because you're Nick Cannon and you have a thousand children and a thousand and twenty baby mamas. <laughs> like, what do you do? What is your life like on a daily basis? Businessman. Probably phone calls, office, the gym. I, I would just like to know. Yeah. I would like to, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, but well, not now, maybe like 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I would like to snoop on Dennis Rodman's life. Nah. Like to just Dennis see what that rod. nigga not does. Not the rod. <laughs> to pause. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> nah, like, that's Dennis not interesting, Rodman though. Is, like, is very interesting. Like when he was with Madonna, like. When he was with men. He was never with men. That guy is gay. <laughs> never, 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 never. He never. is. You don't know his life. You don't know his life story. No, that nigga ain't gay. I don't that know. That nigga's too tough. Like, if he was gay, he would have came out and said, I'm gay. That nigga don't give a fuck. Why did he never said anything? Because he's not gay. Diddy's gay. Diddy? Yes. Now, Puffy? Diddy's on a low. Robin, nah, 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 nah. Robin, that shit would have came out. He was, he was, he was too much of a rock star. He was too tough. Like, I guess. He, yeah, Robin, I could, like Puffy, when they say, "Oh, Puffy's gay," I could look at him and be like, "Ah, yeah, I could I see, see it. it." Robin, nah, like that nigga was just mm -mm, a rock star. And rest in peace. I would love to have snooped around Whitney Houston's life. Not I. Like, I would love to be a camera. And Whitney hunt. Houston's life was very out loud. Yeah. No, like, what do they do in their house? Like, take drugs I, all day. I want to see, like, who. Argue did, and throw who, shit at each other. Nah, who did And they, then have sex. And who then do they it all send over to again. get their crack? Like, who's the nigga that was buying the crack Probably for them? Probably the one that was dragging the fucking luggages through the airport. And you said <laughs> Janae, right? Yeah. Janae is like. 
She's like, I want to be in my studio and light my candles and be zen and yeah. light sage all over the studio yeah. and dim the lights. And I want to go in the booth and turn the lights off. And her voice is so, like, soothing. Yeah. Like, you close your eyes to her. She's probably a fucking sick bitch in real life and calling on her fucking baby daddy. Fuck you. I'm going to get you killed on Crip. <laughs> She's cool with her baby on daddy. On Crip. I'm going to get you killed. She got a baby, a baby, Big Sean? Yeah. yeah. And Boy. somebody else, right? Um, Marcus Houston's brother, right? Omarion's, Omarion's brother. brother. A daughter. Yeah, Omarion's brother. Yeah. Oh. Who, got, who got a baby with Marcus Houston? Oh, he's married to that young girl that is. They made a whole big thing about his wife. <coughs> I think his name is Orion, I think. I don't want to buy Omarion, Orion. Orion. Yeah. That's the one oh, with the OnlyFans. Yeah. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, you got OnlyFans. Yeah, I think it's Orion. Fuck it. That was episode 64. <laughs> mm-hmm. Episode 64, baby. There's a lot of emotions going on over here. I can't wait for this one to drop. <laughs> Thank y'all. Vague, the Podashians. Episode 64. This yeah. one was dope, yo. Mm-hmm.